Hello everybody, welcome back to a another YouTube video. It is tutorial time, which is when I show you how to make a bracelet. Today we're making the Harry Styles cardigan bracelet pattern 48267 on bracelet book. I'll be showing you straight edges technique and I think flat alpha in this bracelet. So this should be pretty good and let's get right to, to the make material. this bracelet you're going to need yellow embroidery floss, orange embroidery floss, red embroidery floss, black embroidery floss, and green embroidery floss. I am using craft cord, um, lay payon, black thread, but the rest of these four are craft cord found at local craft stores. You're also gonna need some scissors, which is perfect. Let's just talk. So this. upon further investigation for the pattern, you can see we have nine strings, which is really saying we have eight base strings and five colors, which is pretty good. And there's 60 rows to tie, which is gonna take a while, so but we good. do use this black in the bracelet, but I think I'll have enough to use it for my background thread as well. Since we have eight base rows, which we can see marked out here as these white strings, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut four of these, and one of them will be a little bit longer for the loop. I already have a tutorial for how to make an alpha shape start with evens and odd numbers of strings, so make sure to go check out that video, it'll appear in the card right now so you can make this shape start yourself. Okay, so if you have the pattern pulled up on bracelet book, you can see that we need to lay out all of our eight base strings, and we're not gonna touch these anymore, we're not gonna make notch with them anymore with each other, and instead we're going to start with our new leading string, which is orange. So I'm gonna pull out my base string farthest to the left, and then I'm gonna tie my orange string and just tie it in. So I'll just put it on my clip binder, that's what I do. Then I'll just put it under all the other strings and all the way over to the left. Now to begin this, you're going to do a backward forward knot, because that's part of the straight edges technique. So a backward forward knot. There we go. And then according to the pattern, you do two more knots this way. So, I mean three, because it's going to be half and half. So you're going to do a forward knot here on this next second bass string, a forward knot here on this next bass string, and a forward knot here on this fourth bass string. There we go. Next, we see we have red that we need to introduce into the color switch. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to tie it on this binder clip section. Now that we have red on, we're going to introduce it in by pulling it under the orange strings. So now we have four strings, that ha the four black strings that have been tied over by orange, and we have four remaining strings. So I'm going to start by doing one half of a forward knot, which is because we always knot twice. So I have done one half the knot, I'm going to take this orange string and pull it through, kind of like it's going in between. Can you see that? So now the orange string is going in between, and then I'm going to pull the red over again, and tie it up in another forward knot, and finish the forward knot off. So we have four orange strings, and a red string with the orange string going through it. Now what I'm going to do is take the orange string and put it backwards this way, so that way we don't touch it again in, the, in this row. And then we're going to go ahead and do three final forward knots of red. Well, two forward knots and then a forward backward knot. Forward, backward knot. Okay, so basically we repeat this but in the opposite motion for the next row. So I take this string, because it's where we left off, since we go like this, 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 this way. That's how bracelets are tied. We're going to go ahead and do a forward, backward knot. So that's the forward. And I do have a video on the basic knots, if you want to go check that out. So now we're going to go ahead and do three backward knots. This way. And now we need to pull back in the orange, since we have half orange, half red. So we're going to do one half of a backward knot. And then we're going to pull the red through the one half of the backward knot. And then we are going to go ahead and finish the backward knot off, like so. So, yeah, that's basically the start to this bracelet. 
Now we finish off this row with two more orange backward knots and we pull the red all over the other side. And then we do backward knot. And then we end the row with a backward forward knot because all of the side knots are going to be forward backward or backward forward. It's part of the straight edges technique. So there we have it. We're basically going to repeat that motion the same time by starting off with a backward forward knot. And then doing three forward knots. Now we take the red and we do that half knot thing. We tie half the forward knot and we put the orange through. Put half, bring the orange through, and then tie the rest of the knot. Pull the orange away so we make sure we don't include it in the bracelet so it's not poking through the other colors. And tie another forward knot. Then we end the row with a forward backward knot. And again, once again, we're going to repeat the motion backwards. So we'll start off with a backward forward knot. Backward forward knot. No, wait, that was a forward backward knot. I hope I haven't been messing all these up. Then we're going to go ahead and do three backward knots. And then we're going to go ahead and do the color switch. So we're going to take the orange and tie one half of the backward knot. Pull these strings out of your way. And just tie the half the backward knot. And then you can finish off the row after you finish tying that knot. You do two backward knots all with the next two base strings. And then you do a backward forward knot to finish off the row. So the next section is a little different. Let me show you. So on my pattern on bracelet book, I have it all pulled up. I have the four rows. We just, it's a one, two, three, four. And then we start off with this color switch. You see a red, black, red, black. That's what I want to show you. And then we have green, 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 green. So, so what we're going to go ahead and do is pull the red string all the way up to the side. And then we're going to pull the orange string all the way out to the other side. So it's under the bracelet. So we can't even see it anymore. So we've already done the first four rows of this bracelet. Next, you're going to take your green, black, and red thread. So we are going to need this one for the next section because it's all checkered. First, we start off with the red string. So that's good. We're just going to pull it back under and go to the first string on the left side. Now I'm going to roll mine up and I'm going to start off with a backward forward knot to introduce it to the row. Next, we need to insert in our black thread. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie it onto my clipboard as you've seen me do like six times already. Like this. And then we're going to bring our string, our black thread, all the way under the rest of these black strings. Okay, so that is the second to the left base string and I have my black thread right here under it. So I'm going to take that second to the left base string and do a forward knot, one half of a forward knot actually. Then I'm going to pull my red through and do the rest of that forward knot. So now we have this red black scenario going on. Then I'm going to do the red, I'm going to take the red and do one half of a forward knot and then I'm going to pull the black through again. Then. What I'll do is I'll take the black knot, do one half of the forward knot, like this, put the red string over it, the base string, and then finish the forward knot. So we're essentially keeping in all the leading strings just through the other knots. Next, what we have to do is insert the green string because we've done four knots and we have four more. Let me zoom out again. So I'm going to take my green string and insert it onto my clipboard. So my green string is all inserted right there. I'm going to bring it under these four lovely knots and base strings. And I'll just 
make sure everything's out of the way. I'll just tie a first half of a forward knot and then I'll bring the black through. So we've done one green knot with the black thread. So now we're just going to pull the black thread out. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We can just do two regular green forward knots without putting any knots through. To finish off the row, we're going to do a forward backward knot. Next, we are going to repeat the same motions except opposite, doing the backward scenario. So, we're going to do a, f a forward backward knot, I think. Yeah, forward backward knot. And then we're going to do three backward knots. And that's almost three. There we go. That's three backward knots. Next, since it's a checkered pattern, we have to pull in the red string and take the first of these four base strings and do a half backward knot. So we've just done that half. And then we'll pull the green string through and finish off the half of the backward knot. Next, we're just going to take the green string that we have and then put it under all these base threads and out to the side so we don't have to worry about it. You can see our bracelet coming along very neatly with this weird lighting. And then we're going to take the black string and we're going to bring it back into the play. So now we have three strings, three base strings that we need to tie over. And we're going to start with doing black because we've already done red over here. So we're going to do black, do one half of a backward knot, pull in the red, and then finish off the knot. Then, we're going to do take the red string, and we are going to do half of a backward knot, pull the black through, make sure it's all nice and tight, and then we're going to finish the red knot. So then, since we're doing on edges, we have a color switch on the edge, we don't do it. So we hold the red away, and we do a backward forward knot with the black string. And then we take the red and put it under. So make sure you pull up pattern 48267 on bracelet.com because that is how you finish it. It's basically just reading the pattern. So we've done the first four knots and we're on this checkered pattern. I've shown you the first two rows and you basically just repeat those rows to finish it. And then every now and then you will do that checkered pattern slot. See it's again here and you'll basically just follow this pattern or you can go back from the beginning and just do it randomly like randomly choose when to put in a yellow square and the squares are four by four knots each because we have the eight base strings so yeah help this helps Here's and a mini lesson on how to read patterns so you go to the top you see the number of the pattern right here how many rows you're going to have to tie oh this is how many rows you're going to have to tie any how many knots in each row how many rows you're going to tie in total, how many strings you need, one leading string at all times, and eight base strings, how many colors you'll need, you're going to have five colors in this bracelet. Then you see the generated pattern like this, and you can scroll down more. So in this case, the, the string that's inserted in here is your leading string, and it just goes row by row, like that. These white strings in the background symbolize your base strings. We have eight of them. For this pattern, you see the arrow pointing this way, that means you're going forward. And you're tying a forward knot, and then you switch colors like I've shown you how to do in the bracelet. And you're just going to continue on with that pattern. That's why it is imperative to know how to read patterns so you can make hundreds of thousands of bracelets. Maybe not that many, but quite a few. So when you see this more frequent color switch, you know how to do it. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and please consider tuning in for next week's video.